So this is where Guatemala is on a map. And this is Mexico, and it's south of Mexico. It is uh, neighbors with El Salvador and Honduras. And it is in Central America. Right here. Moving on to money. So this is one key doll, and that is what they use in Guatemala for money. Uh, for a dollar. It's worth a dollar. And so, but in the USA it's only worth 13 cents. So if I took the $25 that are in this piggy bank and divided it by 0.13, it, I would have $192.30. I'm going to be rich. I'm moving to Guatemala. Here we find ourselves in the kitchen, which is good because we're going to be talking about food. These are the three main foods that they eat in Guatemala. There is peppers, corn, and beans, beans, the magical fruit, the more you eat, the more you As I was saying, beans, beans, how great thou art, the more you eat, the more you eat. negros. Who can you find beans? Which, which means that I'll be pretty hungry in Guatemala because I don't like anything. going to be talking about houses in Guatemala. So, um, this is just a regular house in the USA, but in Guatemala this would be considered a mansion because most people are poor and they have houses of like dirt carpet and like non-wood floors. Um, the walls are made of corn stalks or maybe some sticks and the roofs are thatched. So this would be considered a mansion. You just saw a picture of Ada Pires Malina, the president of Guatemala. They have a government system just like ours, only instead of calling the man your, uh, Mr. President, they call him Your Excellency. So instead of just calling him, hey Mr. President, they call him Mr. Excellency. Here we are in our medicine cabinet, because we are talking about health in Guatemala. 40% of the people in Guatemala never go to the doctor because it costs too much for them. People die of the flu, pneumonia, bronchitis, malaria, all things that we have medicines for. Kind of sad. Uh, Allie? Um, <laughs> here we are at my desk because we're going to be talking about education in Guatemala. The government wants everybody in Guatemala to be in school for at least six years, but most of them drop out at fourth grade. Therefore, if they were to take this assignment, many of them would have a hard time with it because 31.7% of them don't even know how to read. Digus de Guatemala. Adios. <laughs>